Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm so blessed to be with you today. I've been having some technical difficulties with my screen, uh, so I really have struggled to be able to uh, videotape. Uh, so excuse me for that, but I wanted to go ahead and see if we could go up and do uh, the March 10th, which was yesterday, the Just For Today entitled Our Own Recovery. And then at a later point, I'll go ahead and do the 11th, which would be for today. Yeah, yesterday, I just really struggled to get uh, the tape. I gave it, I want to say maybe like seven attempts. And then I just surrendered late into the evening. I surrendered and decided that uh, I would try it again. I'm still having the same issues with my camera. Uh, so I'm going to sit on this particular um, website and do the just for today with this up instead of having my background available while I cover it. And I'll figure it out. I'm not really sure, but every time I hit record, it goes into um, blacking out part of the screen. So um, I just want to thank you for your patience. Let's take, have a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Please and thank you. So today's uh, title or yesterday's title for March 10th is Our Own Recovery. Here it says, uh, the steps are our solution. They all are our survival kit. They are our defense against addiction, a deadly disease. Our steps are the principles that make our recovery possible. That's taken from the basic text, page 19. There's a lot in Narcotics Anonymous. There's a lot to like in Narcotics Anonymous. I need more coffee, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> the meetings, for one, are great. We get to see our friends, hear some inspiring stories, share some practical experience, maybe even hook up with our sponsor. The campouts, the conventions, the dancer, dances are all wonderful. Clean fun in the company of other recovering addicts. But the heart of our recovery program is the 12 steps. In fact, they are the program. We've heard it said that we can't stay clean by osmosis. In other words, we can't just attend meetings no matter how many and expect to breathe recovery in through the pores of our skin. Recovery, as another saying goes, is an inside job. And the tools we use in working that inside job are the 12 steps. Hearing endlessly about acceptance is one thing. Working the first step for ourselves is something very different. Stories about making amends may be inspiring, yet nothing will give us the freedom from remorse that taking the ninth step ourselves will give. The same applies to all 12 steps. There's much to appreciate about NA. But to get the most from our recovery, we must work the steps, the 12 steps for ourselves. Just for today, I want everything my personal program has to offer. I will work the steps for myself. I really appreciate this reading today. Um, I read it, again, I read it several times yesterday, but I just wanna say that in regards to the steps being our solution, and our survival kit. I want to talk about solutions and surviving. Because some people, uh, they, they come into the fellowship and after they get clean, they have this uh, presence about themselves that lets you know that I may be doing all of this other stuff still, but at least I'm clean. At least I'm conscious. At least I know what I'm doing, right? And I'm not sure if that's like to be uh, 
complimentary or not, but I'm assuming that when they say at least I'm clean, they understand that at the very, very least, at the first thing that we must do, right, is to stay clean. A lot of the things that we want to pursue in life, we may have done some of these things already, but we didn't do them clean. Staying clean must come first. But the very fact that we indicate that it must come first indicates that there's a second base and there's a third base, right? There's all these other steps along the way after you nail staying clean. And I want to speak to the individual that has either just come to the program and you're enjoying the fellowship, going to um, open meetings now, fellowshipping with people. Maybe you've been here for a few months and you haven't been able to nail down getting a sponsor because a lot of people just aren't available for sponsorship on a deep level, right? Or maybe you're the individual you've been around for a long time you maybe have even worked the steps or maybe you never worked them at all. I mean, there's loads of people that have a have an understanding of the spiritual principles that come from the steps and they're actively using them. So they're living the steps, but they have never physically sat down to write them and go over them with a sponsor. A lot of times the reasons are fear uh, sometimes it's pride, right? They've been around so long that they feel foolish now asking someone to be a sponsor. Finally, after 10, 12, 15 years clean, or maybe they've been around for decades and that is just not where they're at in their life. They are not into interacting with a person on that deep level. I want to challenge those two groups of individuals to give it a go, give it a go. Because I know for myself, when I sponsor individuals that have substantial amount of clean time, they have never written the steps. And it's clear by the evidence of how they're living that they are living the steps. I understand that just sitting down with them and going over their first step for the very first time, there's some questions that are specifically directed towards the disease of addiction, the active disease of addiction, right? That they're not going to be able to, I won't say they can't recall because I can recall the first day that I was clean, right? Um, but they may not have that, that passion to go back and discuss it like that. So I kind of, I tweak I tweak that first step for them because that's not really where they're at. Where they're at may be more about identifying uh, behaviors that are still what I would call where your disease of addiction has transferred, the, the obsession has transferred to something else. And we're trying to clean up some of that, right? Clean up some of that driving force to continue to use other things. Right. And so I just want to say, give it a go. You don't know, right, how your sponsor will work with you. And they're going to take your feelings and consideration, your experience, all into consideration. Right. So don't be fearful of that. Um, and it could be the very next thing that opens up another uh, productive and productive member of society door for you right? It could be the very thing that allows you to get that, that last little chip on your shoulders, right? Of resentment or anger. It could be the very thing that you need to move to the next level in your personal life. So I agree with this reading. I appreciate this reading. Um, and obviously for the newcomer, the person that just got in here, it's easy to get in here and just get comfortable. I want to encourage you to Enjoy the process of recovery, but get in the program and get a seat and sit all the way down. Go all the way with it, at least once. Go through the steps at least one time, at least one time, right? 
And then if you're still having some stuff that is lingering, uh, that you know that you need to deal with, go through again. They have a sponsee. We work a fourth step every year. Every year, she and I work her fourth step, fourth and fifth step, right? So I just want to encourage everyone today to remember that you can get the most from your personal program and you can do it for yourself by loving yourself enough to work the steps. My name is Mighty Stream. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today. And I just want to encourage everyone to remember that this process is a process that is tailor-made for people like ourselves. Have a good day.